Go. Ah! What the fuck? What the fuck? What's cracking, crackers? It's your boy, Uncle Cracker Jack, and welcome to Outlast. Now, this is a game that has been sitting in my library for a good few months now, but I'm, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. As much as I love horror games, all kinds of horror media, I've been very nervous to play this because you can't fight back. That, that's just it there. You can't fight back. You have to run and hide, and to see in the dark, you have to use your camera. So that means you have to use your camera sparingly because you have to find batteries. So while I've never played any of the games, I've seen a walkthrough of Outlast 2. I've seen little bits and pieces of Outlast Trials. And I think I've only seen the beginning of this game in like a couple of clips, you know, on like TikTok and Instagram and shit. But yeah, no, I'm just, I'm very nervous because this game came out 10 years ago and I've heard it is one of the, if not the best horror video game out there, at least in mainstream. I know there's, you know, some hidden gems, but I've heard nothing but good things about this game. So y'all, I'm playing in the dark. So yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to need some new, some new boxers by the end of this. Well... Y'all, without further ado, well, let's get scared. Oh, and another thing, there's normal, hard, nightmare, and insane. Uh, I'm just going to play on normal, y'all. Ooh, there's something I got to read first. Outlast contains intense violence, gore, graphic sexual content, and strong language. Please enjoy. You are Miles Upshur, an investigative reporter whose ambition is about to earn him an intimate tour of hell on earth. Always willing to risk digging into the stories no other journalist would dare investigate. You will seek out the dark secret at the heart of Mount Massive Asylum. Stay alive as long as you can. Record everything. You are not a fighter. To navigate the horrors of Mount Massive and expose the truth, your only choices are to run, hide, or die. <sighs> okay, okay. Ooh. Ooh, I, I, I like this little bit. You know, sometimes they give you a little narration of what's going on going into a cutscene, but I like this. Ooh, I like this a lot. Changing weather patterns were to blame for livestock behavior and encourage ranchers and breeders to attend this weekend seminar on Beulah Avenue in Pueblo. And if you're out late tonight, you may see some low-flying helicopters near Silverthorne and Leadville. Seems the Arapaho Park Services will be spraying for an infestation of box elderbugs. Oh shit, the radio broadcast went out. I didn't realize I could look around. I'm just not controlling the car. Also, playing this on PS5, on next gen, this looks incredible. Oh my god. Oh shit, this is it. This is it. Grab the camera. Oh, we got some notes. September 17th, 2013. Hey, I was like 11 going to be going on 12. Yo, from 1026 0110756 6 at muteemail.com to milesupshare at gmail.com. Subject, tip slash illegal activity at Murkoff Psychiatric Systems. You don't know me. Have to make this quick. They might be monitoring. I did two weeks of software consult at Murkoff Psychiatric Systems facilities in Mount Massive. All sorts of NDAs I am very much breaking right now, but seriously, fuck those guys. T 
terrible things happening here. Don't understand it. Don't believe half the things I saw. Doctors talking about dream therapy, going too deep, finding something that had been waiting for them in the mountains. People are being hurt, and Murkoff is making money. It needs to be exposed. Oh, shit. Yo, what was with the with the music, bro? <laughs> Got me thinking somebody was about to be out the outside of the car. All right, let's test the camera. Press. Colorado working press. Oh, we tested the night vision. Oh, this is it. The moment before all hell breaks loose for your boy Miles. All right. Objectives are, objectives are updated in your reporter's notebook containing your notes. All right, these are my notes. I don't have any documents. The whistleblower. Ooh, ooh, I have the DLC. So is the whistleblower DLC like before all this happens? It's a theory. Let me uh, figure out the buttons. So triangle, what? Okay, so L2 and R2 are to lean. Circle is to crouch. I'm trying to figure out. Oh, I can't go in there? Or, I guess I can't. Oh, R1 is going to be to pull out my camera. But how do you make it go night vision? Oh, R3. To raise your camcorder. I start feeling sick just looking at this. Oh, we're taking notes. I start feeling sick just looking at this place. Mount Massive Asylum. Shut down. I'm in scandal. And government secrecy in 1971. Reopened by Murkoff Psychiatric Systems in 2009 under the guise of a charitable organization. Cell, re cell phone reception cut off abruptly a mile out. More like a jammer than lost signal. The Murkoff Corporation has a long track record of disguising profit as charity. But never on American soil. Whatever they thought they could get out of this place has to be big. Might finally be the story that breaks the bastards. Oh, I'm out of batteries. That's what I just did. Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, I'm an idiot. Can we go through the front door? Hello? Oh, shit. I can see my body. Yo, that's tight. I love the fit. Okay. Can I? Nope. Doesn't seem like I can. Looks like military trucks. I I remember from the beginning of the game where I saw originally a few years back how to get in. It's uh climb up something on that side over there, but I I wanna look around. Wanna see if there's anything worthwhile. Can you go through here? Nope. Nothing to nothing to look at. So why don't we go ahead and just go this way? I wonder who's in that room there. Can't be good. I love all the breathing. I don't know why. It gives you a sense of like, you know, our character being human and not some big Billy badass. Okay, so that door is locked. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous. Oh, wow. All the sounds are... What's with the music? Okay, so up and down on the D-pad is... Okay, is to zoom in and to zoom out. Alright, climb. Careful. 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 
This is it. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, shit. To navigate night vision on your camcorder. Note that night vision uses battery life. Damn, though. Something here? Can I? Why can I go in the fireplace? Is there something in the fireplace? All right, let's just go ahead and open. Oh, so if you hold square, you hold onto the door and you can slowly open it. Can you open? Hello? <laughs> Fuck. I, I won't lie to you. That that definitely got me a little bit. So if that's what's going to get me now. Ooh, I can only imagine what I have waiting for me. Oh, my biceps just tensed up real tight. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, don't fuck with me. Anything? <gasps> Battery. Oh, I need to definitely preserve the... the battery life. Because I've only got one battery when I accidentally wasted two. Oh, I'm nervous. What is this? Pick up document. Oh, no, no, no. I want to read this. Murkoff Psychiatric Systems. Project Wall Rider. Mount Massive Co. Case number 174. Patient initials WPH. Billy. Consultation date. 2012, October 14th. Initial date of patient consult, 2009, April 12th. Patient age 19, gender male. Observing physician, Dr. Carl Houston, DBNR. Therapy status. Patient claims to have progressed to self-directed lucid dream states. Morphinogenic engine activity observed as an unprecedented unpre scale. At an unprecedented scale. Continuing, continuing stage 4 hormone schedule. Diagnostics. Spirometry revealed no bron bronchial accumulation. Hematocrit. Hematocrit. I don't even know that word. Hematocrit. Centrifuge. I don't know these words. Again, failed to separate. You've got to be fucking kidding me. Erythocrit. <laughs> Erythrocytes, highly worrisome. MRI revealed arrhythmic REM slash NREM cycle. Laughter in R NREM state. Interview notes. Billy asked about the stat status of his mother's lawsuit against Murkoff and the asylum. This represents a catastrophic breach in security. Despite Billy's claims that he discovered the truth in the blood dreams of Dr. Traeger. Traeger. Note. The only trader on company records, the one Richard Trager, is an executive from MRD. All orderlies and security personnel must be questioned and video security improved to include analytic biometrics. Murkoff Psychiatric Systems Project Wall Rider Mount Massive Co. That music is definitely fucking with me a little bit. You know, the... Or whatever that fucking noise is. I don't... I don't like it too much. Hello? Hi, yo, brother. Oh, that's locked. That's also locked. Oh, hell no. Bro, I hope they are paying you top dollar because... This may not be worth it, bro. 
This may not be worth it. Yo, what the fuck? So I can't get in here. Bro, holy shit. Oh, I felt my whole fucking arms tense. I felt my fucking heart just... Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, my God, I'm sweating from that. Oh. Oh, I haven't been that scared in a game since fucking RE7. And this is older. Crazy that I played Resident Evil 7 before this. And while younger. Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. Oh. Oh shit. Sir? Sir, where's your head? I don't like the music. Where's your head? Oh. Oh no. Are you alive? <gasps> okay, I saw that in the trailer. I had a feeling that was gonna happen. What? It got out. The very. You can't fight them. You have to hide. You can unlock the main doors for the security and control. <laughs> You have to get the fuck out of this terrible place. Oh, I have to get out of here now? Okay, let's just go back where we came from. Oh, wait, we fucking can't. Just open. Oh, I had to be sure that was just my hand. What do I do? Just open. Something in here. Battery. I can't go through there. And he went through that door. Go. Yeah. <laughs> ah! What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh my god. Who the fuck are you? Are you then? I should be asking you the same question. Oh my god. I I see. Merciful God, you have sent me an apostle. This is a cult. Lord, your life, son. You have a calling. Yeah, it's to just run away. Please let me just run away. Why why am I not dead though? You would think with this crazy fucking cult that I would just be dead. Oh my god. New objective escape the asylum, access security control and unlock the main doors. Okay. Yeah, uh I'm going to do that next time. Holy shit. I'm already sucked in. But I'm absolutely shaken up, y'all. Oh, this game is going to be the death of me. I'm going to have a heart attack. Y'all, I do hope y'all enjoyed. If you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe. If you like the video, decapitate that like button. And I'll catch you on another exciting episode of whatever game I'm playing. Peace.